Well, how about this? It's another episode of Beer with Brooks on the final Thursday of 2017. How about that, huh? Let's drink to that, huh? Here we go. I know, in case you're watching it later on, that's okay. We're having a drink with you, too, as well. Carl's joining in. Hey, Carl. Mm-mm-mm. Final episode. Deb, hello. You know what I like, too? I like... Look at all people jumping in. Ole was complaining because he couldn't... Uh, he goes, I never see beer with Brooks anymore because I was doing it on a thing. Here's the deal. Right away, go to... Uh, uh, on your uh, Facebook thing, uh, share this video, but also it's at just the letter J Brooks Morning Rush, and that'll take you to the page. It's a public page that I uh, use for that. That's what I've been using with beer, beer with Brooks lately. So I'm gonna go right there. Let's see. Let's go to my page right now. See, I'm, I'm doing this on my on my my tablet here. Let's see if I got uh, see if we're at. I'm gonna share this over on my. My other page, I write a post, uh, do it on my, uh, well, I also got a, a voice actor thing, too, so there, I shared it over there on that, too, so, hello, Gordon, uh, Jeremy, hello, Nick's watching, how about that, Alex, hello, no, I'm not slurring already. Oh, this is the first one I've had today. I just realized, laying on the couch, and I go, oh, it's 7 o'clock, i got to have a beer with Brooks. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, you know what else I like? Here's what else I like, too. Check this out. It, it, you ever have uh, this candy, Cichlids? I like Cichlids and beer. Mm -hmm. These things are the greatest. They were on sale yesterday. The wife and I were, she goes, you want a package of Cichlids? And I go, sure. Why not? Mm-hmm. Oops. Oh, dog will get that one. <laughs> no, I haven't eaten all the turkey yet, Oli. It's frozen. Oli smokes up a good turkey. And he charges a lot, so and it's well worth it. So contact Oli if you want your turkey fried. Or, I mean, uh, smoked. <laughs> I couldn't think of what the hell I was talking about. Anyway, so the final 2017 Thursday, uh, Catrice, she loves cichlids, too. Yeah, yeah, I love it. So, been a good year, 2017. Everybody else have a good year, I hope. But kind of run down, boy. I tell you, we had a 10 year anniversary with the with Kiss Country with the radio station. 10 years. Can you believe it? It seemed like just yesterday. Um. So we had that going on all last year. That wrapped up in September. Um. Did I get what I wanted for Christmas? Gordon, you know what? Uh, no, I didn't, because all I want is just a light little snowfall like we got this morning on Christmas Eve and on Christmas morning, and that's it. That's all I ever asked for. I don't want, you know, I don't really want nothing or need anything, and and just have the family together. That's it. Uh huh. So, hey, Jason, who joined it? Sm Carl Smarties are better. Yeah, I suppose. I like Smarties too. Uh, happy New Year, Tim. Back to you. Reese's are better. Everybody's got their favorite. I love it. Uh, oh, Jeremy, it's your birthday on the 31st. Well, happy birthday early, buddy. So there you go. So, but yeah, it was a, it was a, uh, it was a good year, fun year, busy year. Man, alive, I tell you what, it was crazy. But some of the highlights we got, uh, I got a grandbaby. Yeah, for Reese, he's seven months old now. Um, we got JD, two years old. Crazy to keep Grandpa busy. <laughs> JJ Yanger, what's up? Um, so that so between those two, uh, keeping you busy uh, in 2017. What else happened in 2017 that really sticks out? Man, it was so busy; it went by so quick. But it's uh, I'm looking forward to 2018. Lots of things coming up. 2018, boy graduates, daughter getting married. Brothers getting uh, remarried. You gotta go down for that. Country Music or CMA Music Festival in June. We'll be going down there for that in 2018. So it's gonna be another busy 2018. <clears throat> and an expensive 2018, I'll tell you that. Uh, uh, let's see. You still have an open to the public New Year's Eve party at your house? <laughs> Oli? No, I don't. We're not even gonna be around. Well, we are, but yeah. <laughs> God, those cichlids were good, man. I gotta have another one. 
Well, wait, I'm going to have a drink of beer first. Let's have a beer. Toast to 2017, right? Toby, hey, thanks, man. I like the hat, too. It's warm. That's how, uh, that's how warm it is in the house. <coughs> Scott's watching. Hey, Scott. Hopefully things are going good to your radio deal, so. But, uh, but yeah, so anyway, I hope everybody's having a, a, a good end of the year, and, and be careful out there on New Year's Eve. You're going to be uh, out there celebrating, have a designated driver. We got a designated driver. <laughs> Actually, when you're at the house, how do you drive, and then you're walking to the, across the street <laughs> to go to the party. Uh, cichlids and beer. That's what I'm doing in case you're just tuning in and going, what in the world is he messing with? Cichlids, I can't get it open. It's hard with one hand. Here we go. Mm-mm-mm. Hello. Ted Tucher's watching. Ted, he's got a, or he got a new kidney? How about that? Yeah, you bet, Ted. I saw pictures on Facebook. Rusty, hello. Yeah. So hopefully you guys all had a good time. Steve, Stacy, Diane. Cheers and the beers. Uh huh. So, but well, we're gonna be doing more of this in 2018. Um, and just having a good time. Oh, Carl, thanks for letting me join a couple of different times this year for Beer with Brooks. It was it was fun. I said, Carl, he, it's Beer with Brooks. He brings over tequila. <laughs> Jason, invite your grandma over. Uh, your grandma, I'm sure, doesn't know how to use Facebook. Um, so, so I think we're good there. <laughs> uh, or kidney. <laughs> I might need a liver. Well, you know, it ain't that bad, uh, Rusty. I should be okay, I think. I drink a lot of water <laughs> to kind of cleanse it. But, but uh, yeah, I'm eating these cichlids. These things are so good. I'm going to eat, like, the whole package. I watched this guy yesterday. I forgot about him. He's laying on the counter. And he goes, oh, I'm going to get some beers and go deal with beers with Brooks. So, Kara, hello. Sheila, hello. Lots of people join in. Two thousand last one for two thousand seventeen. Um, <laughs> Rusty, you okay with your whiskey? Yeah, but so I just want to get out here and wish everybody a you know, Merry Christmas. Hopefully, you had a Merry Christmas and good time and and uh, and a Happy New Year because it's the final beer with Brooks for two thousand seventeen. And but yeah, what else happened in two thousand seventeen that was a kind of a big highlight, man? I tell you, well, with the boy, he's, you know, senior in high school. Everything's a last. Last marching band, last this, last that. You know, I am doing their last, uh, well, at least his, uh, his class, the last uh, prom. I haven't done prom in a long time, so that'll be a lot of fun to go there and do the, the, the final prom with my boy. They, they actually asked me, they want me to do that. I go, really, you want me to do this? Okay, fine. Only oh, don't. Oh, you sound like my wife now. Quit talking with food in your mouth. Anyway, oh, Jason got a, a brick. Well, good deal. Hey, Mike Brooks, you got some radio guys all all joining in here tonight too. And uh, hmm, Hawkeyes won yesterday. How about that? Break that losing streak of what five bowl games and not losing finally. And a Mason City kid, I think, is the one who was kicking field goals yesterday. So. <laughs> Sheila wants to go to prom, but oh, remember those days going to prom? Man, that was a lot of fun. And actually, I got a there's a year in there that I probably, yeah, that's pretty memorable. My junior year, yeah, I'll have to tell you about it sometime. And I can tell you on Facebook. <laughs> Jake, hello. Katie, hello. Luke, hello. But uh, yeah, the Hawkeyes won. I should be watching more college. I got YouTube on right now, watching a little uh, TV, but. Um, Nathan's watching. Hello. Uh, but yeah, I can't believe it. I watched the game. It was a close one. I thought they were going to, they had like three minutes left in the game. And I thought, Oh boy, that Boston college is going to come down and maybe score. But it was, I guess it was really slippery in the field. So hard to do. Uh, Browns haven't won a game yet. And, uh, the Vikings will never win the big dance this year. Well, here's the deal. JJ, Jason, um, yeah, Jeremy, I see your comment. Go Vikes. Yeah, Vikes are uh, they're doing well this year. And I think it would be cool if the Vikings did go to the Super Bowl 
and you know at least get there in their own stadium which i think would be really cool in itself you know but i'm just uh well it, i'm just taking one game at a time and that's why you see this i haven't shaved i wear the same stuff it doesn't matter i wore the same outfit i wear on sundays to our our family get together this year we lost that one because we had to watch the game on this my phone because uh, they didn't have a tv so i had to watch it on my my phone the whole entire game go Steelers, mike um, but, uh, that's, otherwise, uh, this has been on the whole time the Vikings started winning with Case Keenum. He's a man. It's going to be case closed by the end of the season, right? And I'm sure if we don't make it to the Super Bowl, then I'm sure that'll be case closed. Vikings didn't do it again. Uh, Ronnie, hello. But if they make, I think it's going to be great if they go. Uh, there's going to be a tough schedule. There's a lot of great teams. We've got Atlanta. Uh, brother-in-law's a huge Atlanta fan. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking game by game, Jason. That's it. And, uh, hey, I'm like every other Viking fan going, man, is this too good to be true? I'm just waiting for the bottom to fall out. I, actually, I was waiting about three, four weeks ago for the bottom to fall out. But, but uh, so we got, what is it, Atlanta, Rams, Carolina, and Saints are all in the wild card division area. Of course, Philadelphia's got home field advantage. For the whole, uh, all the way through, unless they get beat, then if we end up winning against the Bears this weekend, then we've got second seed, and then we'll have we have home field. We'll play a game at home anyway, but then we'll have home field advantage if the Eagles get beat. Wouldn't that be awesome? Then we'd have everything coming through the 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 uh, through Minneapolis. Whew! Talk about a lot of things going on. What a great year for 2017. Of course, it wouldn't be 2017; it'd be 2018 that we would actually go to the Super Bowl. Anyway, <laughs> ask goalie how the Bears did. Um, yeah, the Bears are kind of struggling, and I'm hoping they don't all of a sudden get good on Sunday and accidentally beat us. But um, so hopefully, go Philly. What are you talking about, Charles? So, but yeah, beer with Brooks. So what else is happening? What else do you guys all get? You get everybody else get what they wanted for Christmas. Bears will win this Sunday. Ole, knock it off. Steve Ferguson's joining in. I told you a bunch of radio radio guys, radio buddies are joining in. Uh, Steve, happy holidays and uh, happy new all. Merry Christmas and, and uh, happy new year. This is the uh, final one for 2017. Looking forward to 2018. So, But I thought I'd get on here and see what everybody's up to for a, a, little, a little cheers of beers with Brooks and some cichlets. Going to snow and get colder. Yeah, it is going to get colder, that's for sure. Brett Willis, he's another Bears fan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he's hoping that he, they beat the Vikings, too. I don't know, Brent, what do you think? The Vikings are going to beat the, the Vikings this weekend? Hmm? <laughs> It'd be uh, Santa got drunk at my neighbor, so didn't make it to my house. <laughs> Diane. <laughs> I'm going to turn this music down so it doesn't get... Happy New Year, Denise. Uh, I wish I could play a song. I know it. It'd be kind of nice, right? And Ronnie, thank you. Happy New Year's to you and yours as well. And Tanya's joining in. Hello, Tanya. So, what else? Everybody else do it. What are, what are you? What are your New Year's Eve plans? Are you gonna stay at home? Or are you gonna go to a friend's house? Are you gonna go to the bars? What are you gonna do? Uh, Brent, Vikings will win. Sadly, Bears already won too many games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brent's a Bears fan, too. Diana, can I sing? Oh, I'm only good in the shower, and I'm not taking my phone in the shower with me, and I'm good in the car. And now I can't do that in the car because you get a ticket for it. It's $100.50. And I know that because I got picked up for it uh, this past summer. That was another thing. Yeah, back in July, I remember when that whole thing went into effect, no texting, driving, going to write you. I got caught in a sting in Clear Lake right in front of McDonald's at the stoplight there. That's where I got, yeah, there's another highlight of 2017. Thanks for bringing that up, Diana. Uh, <laughs> all because you asked if I could sing. Uh, yeah, it was $100 for texting and driving. I wasn't really texting. I actually, what I was doing, I was checking my my email. And uh, so I wasn't texting and driving. I was sitting at a stoplight checking my email. And I guess you can't do that either. I even asked him that too. Mike's going to stay home with the wife and kids. And and Mike, you're probably going to fall asleep before uh, midnight, won't you? 
You'll be watching everything on New York City and the countdown. Watch the Big Apple and the ball drop, and, and you'll be sawing logs by 1030. <laughs> and I should remind you again, if, in case you're tuning in here and haven't been on, the uh, go to the, you can also go to the other page that I've got. Jennifer's joining in. Beers, beers, beers. Beers, beers, beers. De -de 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 -de. Beers with Brooks. Hey, thanks for joining in, <laughs> Mike, I'm sure. I might be too if I'm if I don't keep moving. Hmm. So anyway, I've got another page. It's called the it's the public page. Um. So if you go if you type in at on your on your Facebook page, uh, if you type in like at that little at symbol, and then just the letter J Brooks Morning Rush, that you'll you'll find that page. So go there, like that page, share that page, because I'll be doing more of the beer with Brooks on that page. Uh, than on this page in 2018 probably. So, uh, Christina, hello, thanks for joining in. Hannah, Kyla, or Kyle, uh, <laughs> Jason wants to be in my video. What? I don't know how to do that. But thanks to everybody that joined in. So that's so go to that page and and uh, like I said, like that page, share that page, do whatever you got to do. And uh, and I think that'll give you do whatever you got to do. I think to get the notifications. Because Oli brought it to my attention. I don't get beer with Brooks. And I was doing it there for a couple of times. And uh, I didn't realize people didn't get the notification. So I thought, well, I'll jump on here tonight for the final one of 2017. And uh, just say, hey, hope you all had a great 2017. Looking forward to a great 2018. I got some things in the works and working on some things. And uh, and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, if you know anybody that needs voiceover work for their stuff, I got demonstrations. I got another page too. It's for the Jay Brooks voice actor. So I got so many pages that it's like, oh my gosh. So, but anyway, wrapping up the uh, 2017 with the beer with Brooks. I've talked long enough. We gotta get back to watching some more college football. JT, hello, yay! Hey, and I listened to the songs. Here's another thing too. I'm gonna do a shout out real quick. Jaeger Town. Check it out, J A G E R Town. They got some awesome tunes. All right, go look them up on iTunes, Amazon, wherever you can find their music, YouTube. But uh, they got some great stuff. And yes, J T, I did listen to the uh, the songs. I haven't had a chance to get back to you. It's been kind of busy, but I like them. And I'll tell you which one. Yeah. All right. So if you want to, maybe me, maybe you just want to call me. So and uh, let me know. Or, or I'll let you know that way when you call me. Uh, love my face, yeah. Uh, Diana, good night. Have yourself a great time. Who's going to win the ISU or Memphis? Uh, Yinger, I think. You know, I, I tell you what, ISU. I'm an ISU fan. I'm, a, I'm an Iowa fan. I like the I like the the Hawkeyes when they're when they're playing. I root for them. I like the Cyclones. I like you and I. Um, I I'm glad they finally won yesterday for their losing streak for Kirk Ferentz, also tied uh, Hayden Fry for 143 wins. Um, and that Iowa State is probably going to hopefully win because they've been playing great. Um, when will it be the first uh, 2018 beer with Brooks be? Uh, I'm guessing probably the next Thursday, Carl. Right? Steve Ferguson, yo! Uh, Diana has to say, ISU. Um, yeah, I like them all. So I just get you got to go for the Iowa teams. Now that's not the same for the NFL. You know, you try and go in your division if somebody's doing well. I will tell you this: Packer fans don't hate me, but I just cannot go for the Packers if they if they're in the if they were in our situation, they're going there to uh, to go move on in the playoffs. I don't know if I'd be able to cheer for them. I don't think I ever have when they were in the playoffs back when Brett Favre played. I rooted for Brett Favre. That's who I was going for, Brett Favre. And he was on the Packer fan. He was the Packers, but but that's kind of what I was, that's kind of how it went with that. I rooted for Brett because I like Brett. Tim McClary joined in. Hello, Tim. Steve Ross, Mike Thomas. Hello, Mike Thomas down there. It's cold here in Iowa. But that's the other thing, too, I'll mention real quick before we get going. It's colder than hell out. <laughs> it is... Uh, and we've got snow coming tomorrow. There's a winter weather advisory, I guess, coming in. To, to, well, 
We're supposed to have snow. It was earlier this mor- tomorrow morning, but now they backed it off till your commute should be fine. Um, and then it's going to snow, like they say, one to two inches, one to three inches. I don't know. Who knows? It's, a, it's a guessing game. We're, we're just going to get snow. Let's not even talk about the inches. Let's just talk about the snow. We're going to get snow tomorrow. How much? Eh, who cares? Once you get snow, you get snow. It's like when it gets cold. It's cold. You know, they talk about these, oh, below zero temperatures. It's cold. <laughs> JT saying, hi, Mike Thomas. Uh, yeah, I know, Diana. So I dress warm. So that's why I'm dressed the way I am. And I was going to go out in this tonight. And uh, I was going to go, I had to run up town for something. But I'm going, you know what? That can wait until tomorrow. I don't need to go out in this stuff. Yeah, Carl, it's 12 now. Ooh, I might have to go out then. If it's 12, it's above zero. But it's crazy. Deb Nash joining in. Hello, Deb. So we're going to get some snow and, uh, yeah, normal, right, <laughs> Yinger? <laughs> yeah, this cold weather. As long as the wind don't blow, it's not fine. It's not bad. It's fine. But once that wind starts blowing around, holy Hannah, it's colder and blazes out. So, <laughs> hey, Radio Buds, four in St. Louis. Mike, you're south, man. You should be warmer than us. Yeah. <laughs> oh well yeah so anyway it's great to see uh everybody joining in even the radio buddies that uh through the year hey by the way i'm not going to be at crs this year so sorry um you know i like to have a good time party down there but i'm not gonna make it i got so much money going out next year that it's gonna be crazy between the wedding and my, my well not my wedding my daughter's wedding my brother's wedding uh, I'll be down there for CMA Music Festival, hosting a stage down there in June. Uh, what else do I got going on? My boy's graduation. So there's a lot of money going out the old pocket. I know, Mike. What? Yeah. I I don't know. Maybe I'll surprise people. And maybe I'll show up. But here's the deal. If the Vikings are in the Super Bowl, I guarantee I'm not going to be there. No, because cause CRS, Country Radio Seminars, on obviously Super Bowl Sunday. And I, I'm going to watch the game. I probably won't even have a party. I'll just watch the game by myself in the man cave, and that's it. Right? Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. If the Vikings don't make it, there's there's maybe a chance that I might come down to CRS. But I'll be down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who are you going to watch drink, uh, Mike? <laughs> I don't drink that much, do I? Well, I might have a couple here and there. You know, it's hard to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, the final beer with Brooks again. Have yourself a wonderful, happy new year. Ashley, hello. Again, Mike, sorry, JT. Yeah, you guys can party. You can drink without me. But, yeah, and the bar bill will be a lot cheaper. Just think of it that way. (laughs) But anyway, signing off for the final beer with Brooks. Happy new year, and here's to 2018. Have yourself a wonderful weekend, all right, folks? And be safe, all right? Have a a designated driver.